Hello everybody and welcome to the very first Music Travel Consultants um, podcast and would be uh, very excited to announce our special guest today and uh, Damon Brown, welcome for, or thank you for being here, yep. welcome. Thrilled to be um, here. I, I wanted Damon to be our first guest for a couple of reasons. Um, uh, first of all, um, I just didn't meet him recently. Um, we go back all the way into our middle school years when Damon lived in the same neighborhood and um, I participated in band and he participated in choir. He became a famous nationally acclaimed choreographer and judge and I'm just a dude. So uh, anyway, wanted everybody to know that. But um, Damon, tell me a little bit about how you got into show choir and how you started choreographing show choirs and what does that look like for you today? Well, I uh, joined show choir when um, I was a sophomore in high school. A, uh, a girl named Lisa Carpenter that I had a crush on, <laughs> who was probably in your class, she asked me to audition and she was a cheerleader, so of course I said yes. Of course. And um, I joined show choir, was in it for three years, we had a choreographer who um, really worked hard and, and uh, was a super sweet lady, but she didn't really know the field of show choir. And, and so as a senior, I asked my director, Mrs. Kiesling, if I could do a number, and she allowed me. And it went not terribly. And, uh, and so she let me do more the next year. And so that was back in 1982. And now fast forward 38 years later, and I've been able to work with about 75,000 students um, across the country and have been able to choreograph in France and England and Canada and, um, and with probably about 200 schools altogether now. I still work with about 25 schools and uh, it, it's been a, a huge blessing. And it's my, it's kind of my life's mission field. And it's also how I became aware initially of the reason why we're here today. A couple of years ago, um, I noticed some of the work that uh, you were doing with um, Heart of America and some of their uh, show choir competitions from an adjudicator and a clinician standpoint and some of, some of your groups going. And... Uh, following you on Facebook and, and seeing how important it was for your groups to participate in that mm -hmm. event. And then recently, Music Travel Consultants has been very fortunate to have uh, purchased Heart of America because um, first and foremost, we believe in their mission statement. Mm -hmm. And so uh, just so that you know, when we were going through that process, knowing that you had been involved over there mm -hmm. and knowing you personally gave me um, a level of comfortability. Mm -hmm. and kind of a tug that this was a direction that we should go and we're so blessed and thankful that that's happened and the the one other thing that i i know that you had worked with uh with heart of america was with the thirst project mm -hmm. and heart of america's involvement in that and can you describe that and then how this all came together with music travel also? Sure. Um, I had a student in 2006 graduate from Franklin Central High School in, in Indianapolis, a student named Seth Maxwell. He was a great show choir kid, a soloist, and, and was fearless. Fast forward a year and a half. He's 19 years old. We're sitting at a restaurant, and this kid has the audacity to say, oh, hey, Damon, I'm so excited to tell you I'm starting a national charity. I'm like, I'm like, uh, don't ask me for money, please. Could you sponsor us monthly? He asked me for money. Sure, Seth, I'd be delighted to, to sponsor you as monthly. As any good teacher would. As any, as any good teacher uh, would. And, and so I thought, well, this will be short-lived. And the organization started when he and seven of his closest uh, friends from college saw um, and heard and learned about the global water crisis, which I'll talk about uh, shortly. And they bought $70 worth of water at a Costco 
I think it was a Costco, it might have been a different grocery, but I think it was a Costco. And they went to uh, Hollywood and Vine and they set up um, just a little stand, mm -hmm. probably illegally, <laughs> on Hollywood and Vine. And they passed out free bottles of water and asked people for donations. And they were able to turn $70 into $1,700 wow. that day. Well, originally Seth thought, okay, I'm just going to mail $1,700 to a water charity and we will have helped some people. But on that day, a couple of people said to him, would you come and tell our school what you've told us about the global water crisis? He was like, well, yeah, sure, I can do that. Those schools raised $12,000. Uh -huh. And they gave him that money. And they were like, so who do we make the check out to? And Seth kind of said, well, <laughs> Thirst Project. <laughs> and Thirst Project was born. And now you fast forward to 2020. Mm -hmm. And we have now built well over 3,000 projects wow. in 13 countries, giving about 420,000 people Amazing. clean water for life. Um, we are supported by celebrities that include um, Adam Sandler, um, Drake Bell, Angela Kinsey, and Jenna Fisher, and Kate Flannery from The Office, uh, Andy Grammer, Gavin DeGraw, Dove Cameron, uh, Jennifer Garner, Kirsten, Kristen Stewart, and uh, uh, um, Ansel Elgort, and a bunch of others. And, and, um, a 19 year old show choir kid made this happen. And so I started volunteering for him, just mm -hmm. purely volunteering. And I would go to schools and tell people about it. And sometimes people would say, oh, well, we'll give a hundred dollar donation. Our choir will, oh, that's so nice. And in 2016, I said, I want to go to Swaziland. It's now Eswatini, same country. The king renamed it. I said, I want to go to Swaziland with you. And so I went with him. My heart was shattered and inspired at the exact same time because I saw people dying and yet I saw people with this resilience and courage and ability to be optimistic and filled with inexplicable joy even though they were living in a circumstance that would render you or I um, unable to live beyond a few days. Right. We would just like be, be like, okay, I give up, take right. me God. And um, it, right now there's 600 million people around the earth that don't have access to, to safe, clean water. And that means children as young as eight are forced to walk three and four miles one way each day, carrying these filthy jerry cans. And they're filthy because the water that they have access to are from ponds and streams and rivers, and in some cases, puddles. And so children will get this water from these filthy water sources and they'll bring it back to their, their village and they have to share it with their family. And so first of all, there's not an adequate water supply. They don't have enough water to drink. And, uh, and so dehydration is a problem. Well, the water also contains parasites and bacteria that cause cholera, uh, diseases like schistosomiasis. The Thirst Project goes in, finds a village. Describe how they they come about choosing the space and then what goes into finding the place for the well mm -hmm. and how much does it cost to create a well and, and just describe that experience. Sure. Well, um, the cost to give one person clean water for life is about $25. And hmm. we, we derive that by... Um, the life expectancy of people in countries divided by the, the number of people that a well can serve, which is about five to 600 for one well, verse, and then calculate in the lifespan of a well, which is around 40 years, in some cases more. Mm -hmm. And you put all of that together and it comes out to um, about $25 to give one person clean water for life. A well costs about $12,000. What we want to do is with the money that we spend, we want to positively impact and save as many lives as we can. And so uh, that becomes part of the computation. Then we do um, hydrologic surveys, and we have these professionally done by water scientists that will survey the ground, and they will see where 
untapped underground water lies. How close to the village can we get? Sometimes we can put a well smack dab in the middle of a village mm -hmm. and it's like the most convenient thing in the world. Right. Sometimes a village that maybe had to walk three miles one way every day for water, maybe the water source that we find still makes them walk a half mile each way, but they're walking way less, way less. for water that, that will save their lives. And, um, and so they then have to agree to our standards, um, which include that a leadership committee of five men and five women um, has to be tasked with learning how to do maintenance on the well and how to do um, replacement of filters and if a pump handle would break, things like that. And uh, so, so they have to go through some basic classes with us. And then if they meet all of that criteria, then we set up a uh, time to match them with a well sponsor. Uh, Music Travel Consultants is going to uh, partner with Heart of America at their three events coming up in yes. Kansas City and in Nashville and Orlando. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and during the Thirst Project, Miracle Minutes, and through those weekends, um, we are going to match the donations that um, come in to Heart of America dollar for dollar and uh, between the two organizations we were going to commit to doing one well each of the next three years. We are we are so honored to be um, a part of the music travel family now and that, that you are going to take Heart of America and, and continue the tradition of excellence that it's already established and, and over time to even build it bigger and greater. All of us at Thirst Project are just incredibly um, humbled and, and grateful to be on this journey. And, and we're hoping that as people that do music travel consultants trips um, and participate in, in things that you sponsor and things that you're involved in, that, that schools, that marching bands, that pep bands, that concert choirs, that, you know, uh, um, adult travel groups, church choirs, that they will learn about what you're doing, want to find out more about Thirst Project. And we are not limited to just show choirs right. participating with Absolutely. us. Absolutely. We, we actually already have um, a marching band doing events with us up at Carroll High School <clears throat> in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We have middle school concert choirs participating. Um, we have everything from clothing boutiques to large businesses, to celebrities, to churches, to community groups participating with us. And um, if people want to learn more about us, they can check out our website at thirstproject.org. Um, they can text the word thirst to 97779 and they will receive updates on our work. And they are free to reach out to me personally at Damon, that's D-A-M-O-N, B as in Brown, Damon B at thirstproject, thirstproject.org, and we will plug you in. And uh, your school, community, church, or business, or even your family can get involved in helping save lives through the basic human right of clean water. Great information. Um, thank you so much for being here. This has been Damon Brown, and my name is Mark Harding, and uh, thank you for viewing.